We're privileged to be here in the kitchen today with Chef Daryl Harmon of Waterworks Restaurant, and we're going to be making some fantastic food. So why don't you tell us what's going to be on the menu today? Okay, we have a black bass with uh, char romaine and uh, Mediterranean sauce olive vierge. What we have here is our black bass um, skin on, and as you can see, it's a black skin with, kind of has like a diamond cut on it, okay? And we're going to just take a little olive oil here. Why do you want to leave the skin on versus off? Um, I believe it makes the fish a little crispier. Gives it a nice uh -huh. crispy crust on the outside. Yes, and okay, then good. we're just going to dredge that in olive oil here and salt, pepper. Of course, you got to season it. Uh huh. And then what we have over here is a hot cast iron skillet. Oh, I can feel the heat radiating off of it already. So, I already have the olive oil, so I'm not going to coat the pan. Okay. And I'm going to sit it down. Whoa. Right on the skin side down. You can already see that starting mm -hmm. to curl up. Yes. Yeah, so, what we're going to do is actually we have another pan here, and we're just going to place this right on top, just so it doesn't curl. Oh, okay. So okay. you can get a nice flat a nice, piece. Nice flat piece. Excellent. I'm going to get my apron on so right. I don't want to mess up this beautiful cocktail dress <laughs> that I got from the Nitwit store. Nice. Okay. Now it's about ready to be flipped over. Okay. Okay. So I have a fish spatula here, as you can see, with uh, the holes here. So fish just is so wanna... delicate. Yes. You need a, a spatula that won't break it. That's true. And we're going to start our sauce. I have uh, some mixed Greek olives, and then I have a uh, tomato lemon and red onion. All right. And that's going to consist of our sauce with olive oil and it's a great, it's almost it's like a vinaigre vinaigrette. Okay. Uh -huh. Now so. I see you've got a lot of Mediterranean ingredients here and Greek olives. Mm -hmm. So the, the cuisine that you have at Waterworks Restaurant would say is a Mediterranean, Mediterranean cuisine. Mediterranean inspired? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. The most popular dish we have at the restaurant is the grilled octopus. Grilled octopus? Yes. Awesome. And I love octopus. We have um, a grilled halloumi cheese. Um, we're doing a tasting menu right now, a okay. prefix menu, yes. And, okay. um, it's a $65 menu, so um, five courses, and consists of uh, first the appetizer, and then salads, soup, and then um, we have an intermezzo mm -hmm. and fish course. Nice. And our main entree and dessert. That's great. Five courses for only $65? $65. That's a bargain. We yeah, actually feature like 42 different bottles of water from around well, the country. Well, you are waterworks. You uh, would that's have correct. to. <laughs> And I understand you also do quite a bit of special events, weddings and catered yes, events. Yes, we do. I've done events for uh, the Vice President Biden. Joe Biden? Uh -huh. Well, that's um, impressive. Did uh, events for Michael Vick and uh, Deshaun really? Jackson. We're going to transfer this into an oven. Just so that can cook all the way through. Yes. Now we have a red onion. Just going to dice this, finally dice it. Okay. All right. And so for your special events, you don't just do weddings, you do all kinds of different all events. All kinds of events. Uh, we do off-premise catering, we did events off -premise like as well. a Disney block party. Um, really? Yeah. And you can and, customize um, different themes if yes. people want to do stuff uh -huh. like that. Uh, we cakes did a, as well. Cakes as well. Mm -hmm. We did a Moroccan um, cuisine party not too long nice. ago. So you can really also cool. customize the menu, not just the decor. That's true. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. and it takes a really talented chef to be able to do that. Okay, we're just going to add the red onions here. Okay. Now this sauce vierge, is this uh, French sauce? It sounds French. Yes, it is. We're just going to dice the tomato. Now I just want to use the outer and we're going to dice it up. And do you need any spices or herbs to go in here? Yes, I do. I need a little bit of garlic and uh, cilantro. Okay, perfect. I'll go get our Duro products from the freezer. Now these Duro products are fantastic. You can okay. buy these in your grocer's freezer section and they're individually portioned herbs and garlic. They're flash frozen. You have something like this, which you can just pop out of these little cubes. Nice. And same with the garlic. The garlic is perfectly portioned out so that it's one clove of garlic for each cube. And you can put these back in your freezer and they'll keep for up to two years. Now we're gonna add the lemons, just the juice of the lemon here, and the olive oil. Now this is actually an olive oil from the family estate of the owners yes, of Waterworks Restaurant, correct? Now we're just gonna season it with salt and pepper and let the flavors marry together. What I'm going to do is char the romaine. And what do you, so, why are you going to char the romaine? Classically, you know of romaine as uh, for Caesar salad. Right, crisp, like that, and crisp and cold. Crisp and cold, but it's very good cooked. But yeah. it has to be cooked like a flash cook. So Okay, so you don't want to really braise it down and no. get it soft. We're just going to add a little olive oil here. Take some of the romaine hearts. Now this is the heart of the romaine. So the inner leaves. The inner leaves. Coat the olive oil and place them right here on the grill. Look at okay. That. 
I don't like to blanch them. Some people like to blanch the romaine, but blanching them in boiling yeah, water, boil first water first before um, they grill it. Yeah, before they grill it. Um, I like to just keep it nice and crisp. Yeah. Just get a nice char flavor. Right. Wow, you can already see the char on the bottom of that romaine. Mm -hmm. That happened really quick. Now our fish should be ready to go. Okay. Okay. Mm, it smells fantastic. Mm. And this is a, a menu selection that you have on your yes, menu it's a at Waterworks. Menu, yes. This uh -huh. is from the tasting menu, okay. Yes, it is. We have the romaine here. We're just going to take one piece. It's nice and charred. Look at that. But it's still really held up. Uh -huh. you, know, you can still recognize it as being romaine lettuce and That's not true. just some green. That's great. And we're going to add a little bit of sauce in between. Here I use the dish. olive oil in mostly all my dishes. Yeah. I what prefer is that to great? use olive oil over butter. Yeah. Because it's more healthier too, so. Of course it is. I just want to add a little bit more sauce. All right, I'm just going to pour us a little wine. Would you like to dish right. up some of this beautiful sure. fish? Yum. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. I love the grilled romaine, that's really interesting. 